Good afternoon, Leash Jump, and I'm John. This is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Starfield. Where last time, we wrapped up the final companion mission, and I made the decision to stay single, because no one in Constellation is interesting enough to marry. And way more importantly, I fitted out my ship with a ridiculously gigantic bridge. Seriously, it's huge, and I cocking love it. And on top of that, we blew up the biggest cocking ship in the galaxy. So, right, by the sounds of it, there's still a few dangers out in the starfields. So, okay, today we're gonna mosey over to Freya to pick up what may well be the very final artifact kicking off at the end of the game. Though, obviously, we're gonna be going the scenic route to mop up every tiny outlying system we've not visited yet. So alright game, let's see if you've got any final secrets for me. Here we go, barely around the corner from where I started, Beta Turnian 1. By the looks of it, yes, we've got ourselves a, a Reliant Medical Organics Lab. Now, I'm pretty sure I've never seen that before, so uh, right, nip on down and see if yes, maybe we could pick up something unique down there, skill magazine or something. Also Sam's back, because, uh, okay, I like Sam. Not enough to, like, you know, marry him and become Cora's stepmother or whatever. But, like, you know, enough he can come with me. Not least as, yes, he's good with a rifle, so I've given him the Revenant, so he can just run around spraying out damage and applying bleed to my enemies. Oh, and hello, sexy. Hang about, hang about, hang about. I just rocked up and, um... I can't help but notice. It would appear there are cooking vampire bats here. Oh, they're going to be hard to hit because they're small and flying. Oh, that could potentially be an issue, actually. Like, I'm not very good at dealing with um, small flying things. So, right. Vampire bats on this occasion. Fascinating. Low lighting, or red lights, etc, etc. Right, this is one of the creepy dungeons. Got it. Okay, building goes into lockdown when the power fails, leading to... Sunlight procedure, right. They don't like the light. When the lights went off, they basically, yes, yeah, swarmed the facility. So, uh, control tower. Turn that back on, the facility might calm down a bit. And in the meantime, uh, right. Not just uh, bats on this occasion. There's something else here too, so... That's not a maggot more, is it? That looks like a maggot more, and I don't like them either. Okay, just give you a loopsy and... Oh, it is a cocking maggot more. Well, that's just not okay, game. Okay, but bare minimum, I think I just heard around the corner. Right. We've got robots on our side too, potentially. Marvelous. So, you're looking up, aren't you? Right. That suggests to me there might be some trouble with bats. Though on this occasion, right, just you up on a balcony. Splash damage can deal with you, no trouble. Right, we just need to, yeah, clear out the entire facility. If possible, get the lights back on. Oh, and I tell you what, if absolutely cooking nothing else, we've got a bloody good spacesuit out of this location. It is weird though that yes, like, you know, in terms of jetpack and helmet, I'm always just using legendary, but I've never found a spacesuit good enough to actually offset the damage reduction I get from the non-legendary suit. So, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Just, you know, slightly better. Okay, Sam, you can have this one. Okay, and we're now going into, right, the big room. The big room is now here, but if I could just stay away from it, yes, like acid sprays and whatnot, we should be able to just... Oh, blimey, hang on, they can... Oh, they can properly fly. Okay, that's that's maybe more of a, a problem match. Okay, um, this is this has gone wrong. Right, this is fine. We'll just, like, you know, choke point them at this door. Anything that comes through that door gets blown up immediately. So there we cocky go, aside from you... Sam, seriously, do your job better. There we go. Right. Already wearing them down a little bit. Lovely. Sam has... Sam didn't get the memo about our tactics. Right. He can go do that, and I could draw some attention. I'll go back up top and just start nuking everything. It's going to be fine, probably. Okay. This seems good, though. Just a mosey up to the top of, yeah, that big room. The lights seem to be on. Right. I think we've, like, aha. Open the security doors too. Good, 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 good. So, 
Right, I suspect we may, you know, just solve the problem. Whatever the problem was, precisely. Oh, but far more important than that. Hello there, garden mini bot. So, right. It just gave me a cheerful beep. Right, all of you. We're going to activate you, right? And you too, you were just stuck inside the toilet, weren't you? So, are you guys following me now? Are you like... Oh my goodness, I've got new robot puppy friends. They're genuinely following me back to the garden. This is right. This was just, you know, a fairly unremarkable dungeon to me. Right up to the point where there are tiny gardening robot puppies that I can lead into, you know, the garden. So you guys get on with gardening. Marvellous. And I'll just tell myself to, like, you know, whatever's going on here. I mean, that's a science box, so... Okay, I could go for some liquid cooled advanced pirate ass. That sounds like a good Friday evening to me. Sadly, it's nowhere near as fun as it sounds. Dear oh flipping dear. Okay, now I feel bad actually because um, I tried to like, you know, lead them to the garden. But they're still trying to follow me, so... Okay, well, I can't leave you locked in there. I feel bad about this. So, okay, if you guys like, you know, just want to come with me and live on my ship, that's okay, I guess. Nope, they'll only follow me as long as I'm in the facility. So, fair enough. You guys have fun getting on with the gardening, I guess. I've got more adventuring to do. Okay, one more that may be unique as well. Abandoned military bases. We see all the time. Possibly forgotten ones that might be a bit more interesting. Okay, here we go. One a forgotten base. Just get up onto the high ground here. Oh. Pirates. Right. Well, we know how to- Sam, get out of the way when I'm about to be badass and shoot a pirate in the face with my mega powerful super rifle and- Okay, strong pirates I'll give ya. And that gets me up to level 52. Okay, where are the rest of you stupid bastards? Right, line them up and explode them down. Marvellous. Just use the jetpack, just get a shot in, let the splash damage do the work and they don't stand a chance. Oh, I tell you what, though. They're not messing around. There's level nearly 100 pirate legends here. So, uh, right, just pop out. Fire and then get back in. Because they will annihilate you in no time whatsoever. Seriously, yeah. High-level enemies just sort of uh, melt you in this game. But I'm pretty sure you're down on the ground. Are you dead? Right, job done. Fairly basic base by the looks of it, but bare minimum. Yeah, we might get lucky with some legendary drops or whatnot. And anti-personnel magpulse. Not bad, but not spectacular either. Oh, and you know what? It was worth it just for, yes, an issue of grunt. Bonus crit damage with all ballistic weapons. And most of my weapons are, are ballistic. Also, apparently there's an armory somewhere. I am deeply unimpressed with your armory. Nolly stars are ablative. Oh, ablative and terrible. Better and better. Well, bare minimum, yeah, we gotta level up in a skill point, so... Yeah, now I've decided I don't need to travel with companions anymore. Isolation would be nice, but am I really going to level up? Yeah, three more times uh, before we even get to isolation, before the end of the game. Probably not, to be honest, so... In which case... Right. Apparently, I've killed like zero enemies with explosives. That cannot be true, game. I've been blowing up a lot of enemies, but... Okay. Bare minimum, yeah. Marksmanship. Good perk. And there we go. A handful more jumps, and unless I've missed something, I believe that is now every cocking system in the game glowing to indicate it's been fully explored. So... Okay, time to, you know, complete the set, mosey on over to Freya, and get ourselves the very last artifact. Okay, hang about, hang about, hang about, we've just arrived, do not round the... Okay, we started round the satellite. Hello there, apparently someone's left, like, a message for me or something. Okay, so we've got a distress signal from a high-energy research lab, and uh, you guys have been messing with the artifacts, haven't you? And uh, yeah, we learned from NASA that's generally not a good idea, because uh, 
Oh, I suspect things have gone very wrong down there. Got it. Okay, nice enough a planet. Weird, creepy floating things, but they don't appear to be causing trouble. So, right, let's go check out what you bastards have done by, like, you know, poking the artifact with a stick or whatever. Okay, mosey to the top here. No one outside, and no one alive at all, in fact. No ship here, so... Right. Not like, you know, uh, pirates or hostiles or anything. Instead, yes indeed. I suspect you guys have been messing with science, and now the science has got a bit messy. Mission our research station. You speaking. What is your business here? And okay, I'm like, you know, here to rescue you. You're welcome, by the way. What? We haven't sent a distress signal? Nothing on the comms. No other ships in the system since our last supply drop. Look, what are you trying to pull here? Okay. I mean, I was saying it was, you know, uh, nice and peaceful around here, so... Right. I'm guessing uh, something's got a bit wibbly with reality or something. So, uh, yes, let's be specific here. Explosions, high energy lab, etc, etc. Alright, I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. For security, I'm going to have to ask your friend to wait out there. What's inside? Stay with me and don't make any sudden moves. I'll get the door. Welcome to Nishina. Just be careful. Cora's grown rather attached to you. She might not be alone. Oh, Starfield. Never bloody change. Where the cock is Sam? Okay, he's somehow managed to sink into the floor. Good work. We'll pick him up on the way back out. Still open. Scan is clear. One moment. Okay, whatever's going on here, they're taking security seriously. Still bare minimum, I'm allowed in for the time being, and Mr. Hughes is happy to escort me into the facility. Oh! Oh dear. Right, so summing, summing multiple realities laid on top of each other, because... Right, that does make sense. The artifacts. There's something to do with, like, you know, uh, manipulating gravity and whatnot, which is what gave humanity the grav drives, uh, but they're also about manipulating reality, because that's what the Starborn do, and they do it by gathering artifacts. So, uh, right. Back on Earth, they poked an artifact, and, like, you know, uh, the gravity broke Earth. Meanwhile, here, they poked the artifact, and they broke reality itself. Got it. Oh, bloody hell, right. So now we're in the reality of uh, monsters. Uh, good, uh, good, good, good. Though, okay, give a bit of a look see. Not a very good backpack, unfortunately. I see you guys over there, okay? Stop pretending you're not here. All right, pop up so I can cocking explode you, please. And there we cocking go. What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. And yes, indeed, I was a scorpion things, etc, etc. In our storage room. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? So, unlike my character, I think I may have already figured it out, but... Yeah. Take me to, like, you know, the scientists. I'm guessing one of them might know what's going on here. Alright, keep on keeping on. Ideally, don't disappear into an alternative universe. Oh, never mind, I'm going again. Right. So it's the same facility. Like, you know, identical, just in this universe. Oh dear. What's that over there? Another cocky scorpion, isn't it? Right. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry! I'm so, so sorry! I thought you were a scorpion! Oh, oh, thank God. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? I did, and I thought you were a scorpion. I'm really, really sorry. Would you like, you know, some food and water or whatever? Because, right, thanks to my medical skill, by the looksy of it, you've been in trouble for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I wouldn't have made it much longer. It's been so long. 
I'm out of food. Out of water. But I made it. I... Wait. How did you get in here? Um, Wibbly protagonist powers, don't ask. And yes, indeed, this is going to be interesting. Does the name of Hughes mean anything to you? Like, is this the same group of people, just like alternate universes? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But... He's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. So, you guys had an accident, and, like, now it's affecting two parallel universes or something. So, right, just... Start with the accident. Right. Sorry. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. Right. So, everyone else is dead, and just to confirm... You were poking artifacts with sticks, weren't you? An artifact? You mean the metallic ob- Just disappear! We should- Wait! She's, she's back! Alright, we're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. I like how he's getting, you know, very relaxed about me appearing and disappearing already. That's lovely. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director, you can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. There is wibbly-wobbly artifacts, etc. And, uh, yeah, based on my experience in NASA, I'm going to immediately start yelling, you have a no cocking clue what you're doing, and you're going to kill everybody. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? No, we don't. Enlighten us. Okay, so, uh, yes, multiverse, realities, etc., etc. The multiverse? Other universes? You're right. This is well beyond anything we were prepared for. And you have some connection with them, then. Interesting. I wonder if that's why this is only affecting you. And right. Let's mention, you know, Raphael to you. Logically, if I knew that name without having met him, that would count for something. So, yes, alternate universe, but seriously, let's get to the Raphael bets. That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. And there we go, Raphael, marvellous. Raphael? Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait, burned out? The leak? Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. Okay. That makes me think maybe this isn't parallel universes, it's a split universe. So, yeah, the gas leak happens, and in one universe, Raphael survives, everyone else dies. In the other universe, Raphael dies, everyone else survives. So, right, the gas leak. Tell me what you did, because, yeah, somehow or another, that appears to be the point the universe has diverged. Raphael was in the lab near the ventilation controls. He could have stopped it. Maybe he did. Or died trying. Okay. No precise details yet, and, uh, yes, your Raphael is dead, or possibly, alternatively, your Raphael's now in a different universe. Presumed dead. The research level has been locked down since the accident. We still don't know exactly what happened. If he survived, he could have ended the lockdown, but... Right. So you never saw a body, he ended up in an alternative universe, you assumed he was dead, he assumed you were dead. Not two universes, one universe, or rather like, 
one group of people split between two. This facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. And yes, indeed, he mentioned a probe. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. Right, so I'm guessing there's some reason you can't turn off your own security system. Possibly only Raphael has the clearance. Not from up here. The explosion fried the network circuits. Without physical access to the research level, there is little we can do. We have been working in makeshift labs for months. Okay. So, working theory. I hop to the other universe, get down to, like, you know, the area below in that one, switch back into yours, then I can fix the lockdown, a good starting point. Lovely. Oh, before we can do anything else, I'm back in this universe. So, okay. We've got to find a way to get into the lab. So, I just reload. Get ready. There is my friend Raphael down there. Some of you guys could just pop up at any time you bloody well wanted to. Good Skellington right there. Marvellous. So, uh, right. Admittedly, that does kind of, you know, throw a bit of a wrench into my one group of people split between two universes plan. The fact I've literally just found a Skellington. Right. Keep on blasting. Back to Raphael. We need to use, like, your elevator, sir. Oh. It's you. What happened? You disappeared, and the ceiling caved in, and... and... <sighs> I thought I'd finally lost it. I don't understand any of this. If I hadn't seen you disappear with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. I... <sighs> okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. We'll do this your way. We can get out through the pantry. Here's the key. I'll back you up, I guess. All right, try and keep them alive if we can. The bugs don't seem too bad so far. And also potentially that... Oh, hang on. You just need to go down, buddy. The keys. Presumably, they work in, like, you know, multiple universes. If I get the key in one, it works in the other. After all, it's the same facility. What the... And now I'm in the cafeteria. I'm so sorry about this. Please don't panic. Okay, several jumps later, I think I may have found my way to the lab where they told me to come. Where, yes, hopefully they could do something about this, you know, jumping between dimensions malarkey. What, did you get lost in the hallway? Okay, just don't ask, okay? It's very complicated, Maria. Just do what you can to help me, alright? Alright, this is the probe control unit. Most of these controls aren't responding. I'm going to very carefully adjust the settings I can. There's no way to tell what's about to happen. Pay attention and be ready for anything. I'll begin by adjusting the energy feed of the electron beam array. We're at 93 terabolts. Calibrating to 95, 97, 100. Ugh, nothing. Let's try the other way. 91, 89, Okay, okay. It looks safe to approach, but what in the world? Alright, we've seen them before. That's what shows up in, you know, the artifact temples. It's a micro distortion. Flux pattern matches the distortion in the lab. The setting is just exposing it somehow. Hmm. Step into the distortion, please. No trouble at all. I do this on a regular basis, in fact. Okay, 
we're starting to, you know, be able to control it. Just to find the probe control unit on this side, we might be able to, you know, control what universe I'm in. So, okay, go back over to you, buddy. Now we've got the McJibble that was there. Right, those things now let me move from a universe to universe. Got it. Before you go, there is one other thing we should discuss. If this experiment is the cause of your shifting, when you shut it down, the shifting will stop. What happens then? To you and to us. Right. So I might be stuck and so indeed might Raphael. Yes. And what of us? Nishina is a closed system. Two potential states held in tension. When you shut down the experiment, that tension will resolve. You are the outside observer in the system. Whichever reality you are in, at that moment, is what will become real. For you, and your universe at least. The question is, which will you choose? Okay. So, um... Just out of interest, which universe is my ship in? Because... Is it both? Neither? I don't know! And crucially, yes, we know it's underground. Uh, and in this universe, controls aren't working, so, uh, right. Distortion to this universe, and right here, it should be. But, where's my friend? Before we go downstairs, uh, I want to check in with uh, him. So he should be, uh, like, somewhere over here-ish by the looks of it. He was probably about in this bit of the world, right? There you go, buddy. Right. Now I've got this plan, anything you've got to contribute to it? Yes, just out of interest, if I, like, you know, save you, what happens to the other universe? I... I don't know. Is it a choice? You can choose to save me or... or all of them. What can I possibly say to that? L look, please. I'm begging you. You're my only chance of making it off this planet alive. Please, don't leave me here. I mean, I'm not sure why we're all so certain that, like, you know, uh, me being in one universe when I fix it destroys the other. Like, parallel universes. They could just coexist side by side, but... Okay, everyone's just decided one of these universes is going to die for some reason. Okay, so, down to a research level in the elevator of this universe, which is working because there isn't a lockdown. So, right... Now I need to go back to Universe A and, you know, sort out the lockdown. So, all right, lots of bugs. Don't worry, it's all going to be fine. Stay in Universe A as long as possible because Universe A is... I was about to say safe. But what about automated security rights? Okay. Eyes open. There might be turrets bloody anywhere. So keep on keeping on. By any chance, right. Master locked door. So if I had the right security, I could just, you know, step in. But instead, through here in other universe. Watch out for monsters. And now I've got to... Here we go. Straight back out again. Okay, this is... This is a cool gimmick. For a dungeon, though. Well, that's no bloody use. So hang on. Maybe it is. Now I've got the key card, so okay. Now we can start cracking open all of the various doors. Good. Good, good, good. Including. I feel like I may have just tripped security. And. Oh, bloody. No, no. No, 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 no. No trouble. No trouble. I'm kind of on your side. I promise I am. Right. This is one of those dungeons where we've got to watch out for security cameras. Take them out as fast as we can. Use new key card to keep on keeping on. Eyes open for, yeah, security. And just mosey down deeper into the facility. Avoid automated security. I no! No, no, no. Took out the wrong one first there, didn't you, John? Should have taken out the camera before you took out anything else. So... Okay, that one seems to have chilled out. And the point of lockdown is, okay, 
There's no monsters here, but there are proper security doors, which in universe B, the monsters are probably already knocked down. So, okay. Let me do something a bit more ammo friendly. Only thing we've got around here is you. So, okay, that gets me through here. What about this door back here? Open as well. Okay. Bare minimum. This might get me some good loot. Maybe something we can, uh, I don't know, crack open. I like security. No, literally just a storage crate. Right, so uh, we've got to keep an eye on navigation. Some things are just kind of a dead end. This was not the right way to go. So, uh, okay. Mosey back over here. Watch out for corrosive gas, etc, etc. Also keep an eye open for trouble. Because I'm assuming in this universe, I can't just, you know, uh, hit the button. The button's, like, broken or useless or whatnot. So, uh, right. No trouble here. Back to you. And there should be... Uh, there we go. We can now... Okay. Didn't pay attention to the security cameras. Like, again. Sorry, do keep doing that, actually. I swear, buddy. I'm on your side, but that's not going to stop me shooting you. So, right. Terminal appears to be functional in this universe. We can now, yes, shut down the alarms and also just override the lockdown in general. Beautiful. Now, that should mean all the security doors are now open, which is good. The security lockdown is active. Emergency override controls are available on designated security terminals. So there's different levels to the lockdown. That was just the first bit of the lockdown. Dear oh flippin' dear. So, uh, okay. Back to a universe. Oh, well, that's not cocking helpful. Right, the door's blocked in, um, both universes. Right. So, uh, oh dear. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But, back to A. That gets me literally no further than I already was. I could have actually just walked this way anyway. I just didn't notice the stairs. Good. Well done, John. And on this occasion, right. I see the... Gosh darn it, I did see the security camera. But the security camera saw me first. Well, that's no cocky good at all. Okay, local security taken care of. So, back down to here. Need to get into uh, this room next, but to buy the loopsy of it. Okay. There's no way in but this one security door. Though, bear in mind, in Universe B, there could be, like, you know, uh, holes in the ceiling above it or something. So, uh, this appears to be pretty close by. Go in here and be ready for... Oh, I figured there might be trouble. Right. Right. Go over to Shotty for reliability, because I suspect I'm in a very big, busy room right now. No, 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 no. Stay down. Thank you. Right, just get into a corner where we can hold off. Right, this should not be too difficult. Now we've taken out the first few. Lovely. And as I was suggesting, right. Looks to me like the floor broke or something. So now I can get into this lab in this universe. Good. Good, good, good. That gets me a hang about. Keys. Lovely. So right. Now in the other universe, I might be able to move back and forward a bit. Though, yeah. Back in universe A, was there anything inside this room? Or was it purely to, you know, get the key I've already got? Possibly that, yes. Still, the key gets me a bit further forward, so right. Lock down, the next goes down. Hopefully, we can now get to, yes, the source of the wibbly trouble. Okay, keep on keeping on. Eyes open for security cameras. My scanner can see them even though my magic powers can't, and... Uh, right. That's blocked off. Back to Universe B. I'm starting to see how, you know, this all fits together, etc, etc. I suspect there may be, uh, trouble in, uh, oh dear. Trouble in both universes, in fact. So, uh, right. Over the top, there must be some other way to make progress in a uh, one universe. There we go. Right. Broken down, uh, oh dear. Lots of babies. 
I found like the hive or something. Basically, just start nuking everything. Got it. Here we go. Operation and nuke the cock out of everything is going pretty bloody well, I'd say. More waiting in the ceiling. I see you there, but. Yeah, my powers are keeping me alive, even as we're stuck in the high for quite some time. So, right. If we're lucky, yeah. This might be. There we go. This seems fairly positive. I'm seeing a good, 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 good. I think we've cocking made it. Or at least part of it. Right, we're going to get some doors open and maybe not every last one. And speaking of which, as we just take out yet more cocking robots and yet more cocking turrets. Right. So, um, we've just hit the next level. Good. Good, good, good. Please leave me alone. I swear I'm on your side. Also, I think possibly at some point, yes, they may have patched Starfield. So, um, explosive damage off explosive guns doesn't count towards demolition anymore. Which is very sad indeed if so. Well, you know what? I'm taking more hit points. Oh, um, blimey cocking hell. Hang on. Hang on. I've just walked into, right, the thing I was in before. That wasn't the hive. This. This is the hive. Got it. Also, I'm being poisoned. Also, there's, oh, there's so, so cocky many of them. Right. Also, there's, there's, um, quest objectives. Does anyone know what those are? I have no idea what those are right now, but, okay. More yet, though, Disengage power interlocks or switch universals. Okay, before we start pushing buttons, uh, figure out what's going on here. So, right. Oh, bloody hell. Right, initialization complete. Then the degaussing. Before degaussing, ensure all power interlocks have been engaged. I mean, most of them are on. And then... Right, and then degaussed. And then right. So, in the event that I just straight up turn off the power, then one universe dies. But if I do the procedure properly, then maybe, just maybe, I can, like, summing, summing, fix the universe so nobody dies, right? Well, okay, back into, you know... Universe A here, because now I'll be in the uh, control room again, and bloody hell, cocking security cameras every cocking time. Okay, robots have been taken care of in, yes, Universe A, and I can turn these switches on or off. So currently, they're all engaged, right? And the same is true in, yes, this universe, so right. One out of seven are disengaged, meaning, yeah, this should now be back to a zero. So, uh, if none are disengaged, then all are engaged, right? In which case, commence degaussing. The following power interlocks require degaussing at two and four. Okay, so does that just mean, like, turn it off and on again? In which case, yeah, do that for two and four. There we go. This time, degaussing is complete. And in universe A, right, four, five, and six. Right, so just turn those off and on again. Both universes are now degaussed. Problem being, right, before initiating a frequency calibration, make sure they're engaged to degauss. Done, that's fine. So, right, calibration controls are now available. Unstable. That's no good. Unstable. Unstable. Unstable, keep going through, damn it. Every single one returns unstable. Okay. Back over to, you know, a universe B for a second. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I was just going through all of them, but... Output 24, input 34, waveform stable. This seems like... good... I think. Okay, the game is suggesting I want to, you know, activate the primary calibration. And if I had to guess, hang about, hang about, hang about, hang about, by any bloody chance. If I do this in... What have I just done? 
I'm really hoping we've just merged the universes. Because if so, everyone gets a Raphael and oh blimey I... Okay. Yeah. Wibbly shapes, etc, etc. Artifacts, yep. Seen all that before, no trouble. What does this even mean? Director, she's coming around. Careful, dear. Slowly. How are you feeling? Little bit headachey, no problem, and uh, yes, I suspect I just sort of uh, merged your universes. And uh, very conveniently, yes, that means you've got a full set of staff now, so you're welcome. When the lockdown ended, we found you both out cold on the floor of the lab. And then we found our Raphael. I still can't believe it. To me, you've all been dead for months. And then, to see this... It's a lot. It's really a lot. Okay, so let's like, you know, ignore any ethical or philosophical implications here. Basically, give me the artifact, I'll be on my way. Let's just ask no further questions because this was a very confusing mission. You are free to go and to take the artifact. I think it is abundantly clear how little we still understand about it. For saving Raphael and our research facilities. I'd like to offer you compensation to the full extent of my authority. And as for me, I've decided to take a leave of absence. After everything that's happened here, I need some time to think this over. But you ever need an engineer, just say the word. I owe you everything. Thank you. This has been a truly remarkable experience. Alright, so we might have ourselves, yeah, say a lovely new sexy engineer, if I happen to want, you know, a new crew member or whatnot. The next time you're in New Atlantis, look me up at the viewport. If you ever need an engineer or just want to talk, I'll be there. Okay, so not just this second, but potentially we could recruit him in a moment. And on top of that, right. Did you guys just give me, like, you know, a legendary pistol? Possibly you did, I'm not sure why, but you did. Marvellous, thanks I suppose. And on top of that, oh blimey. I mean, we did just pick up a new spacesuit. Could this one possibly be... Okay. That's not actually very good, unfortunately. Alien enemies aren't, you know, that tough anyway. Automatic is fine, but I could just, you know, use stim packs myself and... I'm going to be honest, I'd rather have, you know, the extra resistance of this armor. So, right, you guys are cocking useless, got it. And the superior constellation suit is absolute garbage as well. Good, everybody's letting me down today. They've also given me a nice helmet, though, right, beast hunter, analyzer, reactive. No, I'd definitely rather take, uh, yes, my existing one. So, uh, right, unfortunately, nothing good in the loot there. But yes, indeed, far more important than that. We were very specifically told by the hunter and the emissary when we got these last two artifacts, it was time for the end. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, revelation has appeared uh, and we apparently have to go to Masada 3. So, uh, right, I would say, how about we call it apart there? But next time, I suspect we're looking at the grand cocking finale. It's time for me to go to war against the Starborn, possibly become Starborn myself, and then do whatever it is Starborn do precisely. Like, the game's been a bit unclear as to precisely how the mechanics of Starborn actually function. But basically, coming up next time, the grand finale, so hopefully you join me for that. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Starfields. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is going to take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out... Die, you moving bastards! Die! Die! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.